Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be creating this makeup look. I really like the way that it turned out. I'll be honest, there were a few moments during it where I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna pull this off quite so gracefully, but I do like the way that it turned out. I wanted to do something a little bit different um, and outside of my typical makeup tutorials, which I know are very similar, but you know, it's kind of the way that I normally wear my makeup. I wanted to do something a little bit more glamorous in this tutorial, and I wanted to play with a little bit of color. I know that this isn't bright, bold colors that just jump out, out at you, but the eyeshadow on the lid is kind of a mossy green, and then I did play with some purples in the outer corner and then on the lower lash line. So I just wanted to show you guys that it doesn't always have to be just basic neutrals or bright, bold colors. I wanted to show you something in between. Like if you're someone that looks at the purple in the palette or the blue or the green in the palette, but you just it intimidates you or you're not quite sure how to wear it, I wanted to show you guys uh, ways that you can incorporate those colors into your makeup looks, but still have something wearable, you know, not something that's so out there. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Before we get started, I want to mention that if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you enjoy my content, I would love it if you would subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. All right, you guys, let's get started. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Peach Sweet Peach Palette. And I haven't played with this in quite some time. You can see it's here. It's got a lot of pretty neutrals, but it also has a little bit of fun color. I'm going to work with the green today. I want to do something a little bit outside of the norm. I know I typically do a lot of like neutrals and browns because that's what I wear, but I wanted to incorporate a little bit of color today. So first I'm going to take this shade here. This is the White Peach shade, and I'm just going to dust this underneath my brow. And on my eyelid, this is just going to kind of set the eyeshadow primer just to make my eyeshadow go on a little bit more smoothly. This brush, I'm not a fan of. What is this? This is the Sigma E25 brush. It's a little too stiff. It says it's a blending brush, but it's too stiff for me. I'm going to take a brush that's more soft and fluffy, like the 224 by MAC, to do my crease color because I want that color to be like a nice wash of color. And that Sigma brush is just too stiff. I feel like it'd be really difficult to blend with. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is called Puree. And it's a really nice, warm, matte brown. It's got quite a bit of like red and orange to it. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip and just softly blend this in my crease. If you notice, I am holding the brush kind of closer to the end of the handle. That's going to give more movement of my hand. So it's going to be easier for me to get a soft, nice, sheer blend of color. If I were really close here, chances are I'd apply a lot more product and it'd be more difficult to blend because I'm kind of, I don't have a lot of movement with my hand, if that makes sense. So whenever I do the crease, especially if I want a really nice soft wash of color, I like to hold it at the very end. So next I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color on my eyelid and I'm working with this color called Bless Her Heart. It's this really pretty shimmery kind of mossy green color. It's got a little bit more of a cool tone to it, and I'm going to use a 213 brush by MAC, and I'm just going to use the side of my brush and really, really load it up. Again, I'm not using the tip. I'm using the side. Load that brush up, tap excess off, and I'm just going to go and press this onto the eye. Okay, this is going on a little darker than I expected it to. I expected this to be a little bit more of like a silvery green, but it's kind of going on more like a hunter green. It's pretty just different than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. So next I'm gonna darken the outer corner in the crease a little bit, and I'm gonna use this color here. It's like this shimmery dark purple. Uh, it's called Peach Pit. And because it is so dark, I'm gonna use a 219 brush, something a lot smaller to apply it, and then I'm gonna go in and blend it with my crease brush. If I used a bigger, fluffier brush to apply it, like to pick it up, I would likely make a big mess and it'd be hard to control where that product goes. So I'm using a small little pencil brush just to make sure that I really concentrate this right on the outer corner. And again, it doesn't have to be blended or look perfect because I'm gonna go in and soften it with another brush. This is just made basically saying, hey, purple, I want you there and only there. Don't go anywhere else. Then I'm gonna use this 224 brush and I'm just gonna softly go over the edges and soften it out. I don't wanna blend it so much that I lose the concentration of color there, but I definitely wanna blend it and soften the edges because I don't want it to look like a harsh, you know, purple block, if that makes sense. Okay, so we are about here with the eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna brighten the brow bone a little bit and then I'll be good for upper liner. 
This palette has a really beautiful, shimmery, soft gold. The shade is called Nectar. Kind of reminds me of Nylon from MAC, if you remember that. That was such a beautiful, I think they still have it, such a beautiful, like, kind of yellow gold shimmer. Very shimmery, though. Yeah, this is very similar to Nylon. Quite a bit of a sheen there, so a little bit more than I normally like to go, but I feel like this eye makeup is dramatic enough to where it can handle that. If you ever feel like you apply it and it's too shimmery, like I almost feel like that's too shimmery, it looks okay for now, but I know that as the day progresses, especially in this heat, my skin's gonna heat up and it's gonna be a really muddy mess. If you ever feel like you do that, uh, one way to kind of fix that is to take a small brush and take a matte shadow. So um, I could take this one right here and just go over that. You could also take a uh, face powder. So if you have a face powder or a loose powder, just you wanna go with something light. You don't wanna go with anything darker than the highlight. And you can just go right over that and that's gonna soften that shimmer. Okay, for upper liner, I'm gonna use the DHC Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I do like this pen. I think it's really easy to work with. The only complaint that I have is that sometimes it transfers. Um, on the upper lid. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you allow it enough time to dry before you like look up or do anything that would cause that liner to touch the upper lid. Um, if you have really hooded eyes, I probably would skip this liner because it does transfer some. Uh, I also use a shadow sometimes to set it and that'll help. But it's really easy to work with and it's very rich in black. So for those two reasons I like it, it's just the sometimes transfers issue that I have. For my inner rim, I am going to line that and brighten that up. I'm going to use the Brow Highlighter Crayon by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to do one quick little sweep of that. The reason that I like this one so much is because it has a slight pink hue to it. It's not stark white. It's also really soft and creamy, so you don't have to like go back and forth a whole lot. Obviously, that's a very sensitive area to line for a lot of people. So if you have a pencil that doesn't go on very well, you have to go back and forth and it can really irritate the eye. So this is really nice and easy, and I feel like it's just the right level of brightness. You know what I mean? It's not stark white, but it still is nice and bright. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the Laura Geller Liner in Brown Sugar. This was a liner that I got out of the Nordstrom Anniversary set. And I'm just gonna go right underneath. These are really nice. They're a gel eyeliner, so they go on really easily and soft. And I like that they're self-sharpening, so you don't have to worry about having a sharpener nearby. Then I'm gonna go over this with some purple to kind of brighten this eye up and play with a little bit more color. So this is a trick if you ever wanna play with color but you don't wanna go overboard. You can always take a bright color. I'm gonna take this uh, brighter purple here and use it as your lower liner. So I'm gonna take a flat definer brush. This is by Sigma. It is the flat definer brush E15. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take that purple and I'm just gonna go over that liner. So that's just gonna add a little bit of color and fun to the eye. You could also do a brighter purple too if you wanted. A little bit of a brighter purple would look really nice with this too. And this color would look a little brighter if I didn't have that liner on first. But because I had that liner on first, it's gonna make it go on a little bit darker. So keep that in mind. If you want the purple to stand out more and be brighter, then skip the liner altogether or use a very, very light liner. If you like to have a liner underneath it to give the shadow something to adhere to, use something really light. All right, we are getting there. So I'm not going to put any mascara on my upper lashes because I have extensions and I feel like they are pretty full. I feel like they don't need any mascara, but I am going to put a little bit on my lower lash line and I'm using the Molly Beauty Mascara. This is from the collection, the uh, Mallywood collection. They sent me the whole collection and I did like it. It came in this really pretty palette, lots of like rosy hues, kind of rose gold hues. For lips, I'm using the Bite Beauty Lip Liner in the shade 26. This is a favorite. I've talked about this in a lot of videos. Clearly you can tell it's a favorite because it is in very bad shape and I desperately need a new one. I like this a lot. It's just a really nice cool tone pink. So I've lined the lips. I'm also going to fill them in slightly. I'm not using a lipstick today. I'm just going to be using a gloss. So I'm almost using this lip liner as my lipstick. Also, the lip gloss that I'm using isn't a direct match with this, so by filling in my lips, it's going to make that blend between the liner and the lip color just a lot more seamless. 
For lips, I'm using the Jouer High Pigment Lip Gloss in the shade Park Avenue. And I actually meant to grab the other one, which is a little bit more um, kind of a beigey tone than this one, but I just realized I grabbed this one. So this is actually a little closer to this lip color than I thought. I love this gloss, you guys. This is in the favorites for July. And I just love it. It's got such great color. It feels so nice on the lips. It's not thick or sticky. All right, you guys, and that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. What do you think of the final outcome? I have to admit, there was a few moments in there where I was like, oh, I don't know if I can pull this off, but I do like the way it all came together. Um, I think it's definitely more of a glamorous look for myself. It's something a little bit different and outside of what I typically normally do, but I still think it's very wearable. Um, and yeah, I don't know, that's my thoughts on it. I kind of like it. I think I'm probably gonna have to remove a little bit of this because I'm gonna go to the gym later today, but I do like the way that it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.